Hi guys, it's me Ryan, and today I'm going to make a tutorial, which is actually going to be a redo of a tutorial I did earlier. Uh, this is going to be the redo of how to make a Lego stop motion film. Um, the one I made earlier, uh, which was quite a while ago, was whenever I first started getting into stop motion. Now I, uh, I understand more techniques and I can animate a lot better than what I used to do. And this is a request from Classic Gamer 54 His comment was, Hey, very nice. What camera do you have? And can you help me make my movie? I am Robert's brother. I am making a Lego Star Wars video. I have over $500 in Star Wars Legos. Well, that is quite a lot of Legos. I have about $300 worth of Legos just in my room. So, I'm going to uh, show you what programs to use, what cameras I recommend, and uh, just how to animate. First, you're going to need a program, well, you're not going to need, but I, re I very highly recommend you get a program called Monkey Jam. This is one of the best stop motion programs I've ever used. It's fast, it's simple, it's easy, um, and just an overall good program. Um, so you, I'm going to put the download link in the description. So all you have to do for this, you just click on new over here. And uh, name it what whatever you want. I'll just leave it layer one. And then just browse for the folder you want to store all your pictures in. I recommend you have your own stop motion folder like I do. Here's my different one, my different projects I've been working on. Just to make a new folder. That's where all these are going to be uh, kept. I do not recommend that you put it in, like in my, on the desktop because there's going to be a crap load of pictures. And I just like to pick blue for no reason. Next, to go up to settings, FPS. Uh, you can either do 15 or 14, I'd like to do 14, and you click on open video capture window right here, and you have to have a, uh, a webcam hooked up to your computer, or a digital camera or something, um, for this to work. Make sure you set your image hold to 1, you don't want it to be 2, it'll be like it's going 7 frames a second instead of 14, if you set it to set, or 14 I mean. Go to cameras, uh, for some reason I have two cameras on mine, I just, there should only be one for yours. Um, make sure this is uh, clicked under sequential, not frame, sequential. Okay. And it's going to come up. Uh, you're going to have a preview of what the camera sees. Uh, this is actually a set that I built for the last part of uh, Lego Resident Evil Survivor, Survivor Story 2 that I just uploaded yesterday. So this is basically all you have to do. Is... Um, you, all you have to do is just click capture every time you want to capture a frame. Um, I won't get into actual animating until later on in this tutorial. Um, but now I'm going to get into uh, set building. That's going to be a very crucial part. So set building is next. Okay, so here we are. This is my animation studio. It's basically all it is is my computer okay for some reason my camera's like freaking out I usually doesn't do this but uh, you'll see little bars and stuff like fly up real fast and the dark and light colored bars anyway um, I'll have like a little pile of Legos a can of white play-doh and a can of red play-doh um, so I can use blood and the white I just use if somebody's like jumping down a wall, I'll stick that to their back and stick it to the wall. But I'll get into that a little bit later. Now my actual studio consists of just a just a light um, that I had down in my basement. You can use um, desk lamp. You can clamp it to your desk and just you can just bend it in here, and that's what a lot of people do. But I find this it gives very nice lighting. Um, I'd also have my room light on, but I don't feel like getting up and turning it on. Um, so the stu the the recording uh, materials I recommend, uh, just like on base plates and stuff, I recommend you buy the fifth oops fifteen by fifteen base plate and uh, either one or two uh, ten by ten base plates. I just started out with one ten by ten, then I got another ten by ten, and uh, last Christmas I got a fifteen by fifteen, and I am very satisfied with this. There's a lot of room on this thing. Um, Next, you have to actually build your set. Now, that's where a lot of people, I'm going to set my camera down. This is where a lot of people um, 
I don't want to say mess up, but I don't want to, it's not doing it wrong, but they do too much. And now they think, hey, I'm going to make a movie about this guy, you know, he's going to be walking around a city, you know, so I got to build a whole city first. Wrong. You do not want to build the entire city first. Basically, what I have, let me pick up my camera again, I have pre-built seven studs long, this would be, uh, this, or seven studs high, I should say, yeah, seven bricks high, that's what I meant, seven bricks high, so it's seven by four, pre-built walls. Um, you can make walls if you want, you can make them all one solid color, um, I quite frankly don't like to spend a lot of time building the walls. I like to actually spend time animating. Uh, I often get maybe two or three people every once in a while that say I like how everything's built with just random color bricks and I really don't care. Um, so after I have my pre-built walls, if I'm going to build like a city street, um, let's see, my city, my one building is going to have a window. So I'm going to put a window down and I'm just going to I am just going to just put my walls side by side until I'm satisfied. That looks pretty good. Um, let's see. I'll put a brick here and then put a flat piece on top of it. There we go. And then if I were to zoom in a little on it, move my camera up and move it down, it seems a lot bigger than it is. And this is actually how big it is. It's not very big. And you can have your Lego character walk across the screen. And this is uh, Dylan from Resident Evil Survivor Story 2. I just decided, because he was right there, so I decided to grab him. So um, that's pretty much all I have to say about set building. You can add, um, you can add a whole bunch of different stuff. You can add, you know, other people. You know, um, vehicles, oops, vehicles, um, just stuff you'd find on a city street or city corner or something, trash can, you know, a couple people walking around, uh, it may make it a little bit more, uh, difficult to animate everybody, but, uh, it looks a lot better, there, that looks pretty nice, um, so it's better just to have something something instead of just a regular wall or you know just something so it doesn't look so bland so it kind of looks good I'm not saying that uh, that's good but uh, it's really not so I just recommend you decorate your set a little okay um, next section it's going to be basic animation let me just take everything off the set okay what you're gonna need is just your camera uh, already built set which I've just built myself one didn't even realize it and a minifigure or however many figures you choose to animate I have I don't even know if you can see it but I have right here where my hand is my hands right here right here in this box I have a Lego box and this entire box is filled up with bags what's in this bags is um, I separate this one would be uh, worker minifigures this has like policemen firefighters uh, EMS and I'll have like this one has Star Wars uh, Indiana Jones and Castle and then I'll have, um, see this other one is just accessories and one I have just really small pieces that I dug out of my Lego box. And I also have that along with my Lego box. So I have a lot of stuff, but it does, uh, it does uh, help to kind of keep it um, organized a little. Okay, into the actual animation. You have to choose your minifigure just right. If you have a minifigure that can't move its arms too well, if they kind of stick a little and they don't move, uh, they don't want you don't want them to move too easy. Where every little movement they'll move, you just want to move them without uh, having to, um, you know, really, really push really hard to move their arm. 